The residents of the naval aircraft carriers encounter multiple harsh conditions on deployment. Sometimes the seas are not very kind and come with rough winds and waves. There are procedures sailors carry out on board the ship, some in the occurrence of emergencies. A particularly dangerous procedure is dropping the carrier's anchor. Why is that action deemed as life-threatening? Dropping the anchor is quite laborious and crew members involved can sustain a lot of injuries. Anchoring an aircraft carrier is a very slow process and it involves taking into consideration several precautions than most ship procedures. Sailors on anchor detail are trained frequently to ensure they are constantly aware about the proper steps to raise and drop the anchor without any injuries. An average aircraft carrier weighs about 80,000 to 100,000 tons. At times, Mother Nature wakes up on the wrong side of her bed and decides to bless sailors with choppy seas and huge storms. This is why an aircraft carrier needs to be kept stable by an equally massive anchor and chain system. Anchoring in the high seas is generally avoided. Sometimes it's inevitable, but only as a precaution to prevent accidents. The anchor and chain assembly is one of the heaviest, most space demanding and most difficult to use equipment on board the ship. There are different types of anchors that can be used on a ship, from the Mantis Anchor to Danforth to Manson Boss to Spade to Bruce. The selection of which anchor an aircraft carrier uses is based on its setting ability, its robustness and its holding in all forms of soils, from loose soil to hard soil. The anchor weight for an aircraft carrier is calculated depending on a factor known as equipment number. The equipment number is a function of the ship's displacement, its maximum breadth and height, and its projected lateral surface area. An aircraft carrier embarking on a journey into choppy seas would be more suited to have a relatively heavier anchor in comparison to that on a ship traveling with slow currents. The depth of anchorage is majorly dependent on the length of the anchor chain. For an aircraft carrier to properly drop its anchor into sea, it must use a scope, anchor depth to run length of at least seven to one. A steeper scope would let the anchor loose and slip. The anchor has to be positioned in a certain way to eliminate the possibility of it slipping. For example, an aircraft carrier with 560 feet of anchor road and chain should drop its anchor to nothing more than 80 feet of sea depth. Most ships limit their anchorages to 200 feet into the sea. The anchor chain comes in shackles or shots as they are called by sailors and are joined by removable links. These links are the same shape and measurements as the shackles. USS Nimitz has two 30-ton anchors connected to two shots of chain, which is about 1,080 feet long. The steel links aboard this aircraft carrier each weigh 360 pounds. USS Ford has an anchor weight of 30,000 pounds and 1,440 feet of anchor chain length. Each of its links weigh 136 pounds. The renowned aircraft carrier of World War II, the USS Enterprise, has an anchor weighing 25,000 pounds. Dropping the anchor of an aircraft carrier only happens in the occurrence of steering failure, navigating in shallow seas, possible collisions, and other emergencies. The essence of this emergency procedure is to let the anchor drag itself along the sea, thereby creating great resistance to the movement of the ship without inflicting damage on itself or the vessel. Anchoring the carrier would drastically reduce the moving speed of the vessel and prevent accidents. There are certain precautions that the sailors on anchor detail must take when an order is given to drop the anchor. The naval officer must be equipped with a mobile VHF, a source of light, and paraphernalia to remove the bow stoppers. The cable must be screened at all times to know the number of shots passed in regards to instructions received from the bridge. In the presence of a need to drop anchor, the officer at the forecastle must be in constant communication with the bridge to exchange information with the master. Such information includes instructions on where the anchor should be dropped, which anchor to drop, if applicable, and how many shackles should be released. Before releasing the anchor, the sides of the aircraft carrier must be checked for boats, tugs, and other objects in the path of the anchor that can sustain harm. The officer must open the compartment and allow the anchor to flow straight from the hod pipes. Dropping the anchor of an aircraft carrier involves more technicalities than most procedures on the ship. 
The anchor and its chain are heavy equipment that can be quite dangerous to their operators. That is why the procedure itself is generally avoided. And that will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Feel free to drop your reviews in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can always catch more interesting videos like this. Until next time, bye for now.